Okay, here we go. Searching aircraft is out that way. I want to make sure they have a nice big column of smoke that gets up above these gum trees within the area we're located so they know where I am. So the first thing is, I've got my fuel that I've sacrificed and cannibalized out of the vehicle. I'm going to pull that carefully around the rim. Saturating that. I've got a pile of kindling ready to go. I'm going to grab my fire steel. I keep my face away. I get that thing up. Now straight away, you can see that this tire is already on fire. And that's an important thing. So many people talk about putting the fire, the tire, sorry, onto the campfire. This is a big solid object. The first thing it does is smothers your fire and takes all the air out of it, knocking the fire out potentially, unless it's a big solid fire, which in a survival situation costs you a lot of calories to keep that thing burning. This is up and running and we'll let it go for a while and see how much black smoke we start to generate. All right, the rubber's starting to burn now. And my aircraft's still floating around over that way. So that kindling I kept to the side, I'm going to start now adding to the fire. Making sure I don't smother it. I'm just trying to get that thing now moving away in a big, big way. I need this aircraft to get me home now. I've had enough of this bush experience. I want to go home. So let's get this fire moving. Just remember, you've got five of these tires on your vehicle, at least. Use one at a time. Don't go putting five tires out on the road, light them all up at once. You're blowing your chances of being able to do that again. So wait, bide your time, be patient, and have some confidence that you'll be seen the first time. The smoke will start to draw attention to your location, and then you've still got four other chances, worst case, of getting that thing replicated and repeated to do it again. All right, if you use them all at once, they're done. All right, so just think things through in a common sense, balanced, grounded kind of way. A couple of things you should have noticed there. One is, keep your face out of the way when you light that fire up. Secondly, make sure you ever got a good bolus amount of accelerant on the rim of that tire. It still takes a while, for that tire to get going sufficiently to get enough thermal mass and momentum behind it to actually kick over and be useful. Right? You'll smell the rubber burning. That's the key indicator to, for you to understand that the fire itself is on tire. Now you can't smell that on the camera, but I can smell it clearly here. And if you look around here, you can see that we built a campfire basically on the side. So we lit the rim, we pushed all that kindling we had pre-positioned onto the upwind side, upwind of the tire. Built the campfire there, or the, the initiation fire, and got it to start to burn the fire. That's the fastest way you're going to get this thing to light. It's still only producing a thick grey smoke. It's not even a black, black smoke. For whatever reason, the properties of tyres vary from tyre to tyre. But that's going to give you the best way. As you can see here, the tyre is now on fire. Now, I'm not going to put that out, not even going to attempt to. If I was in the desert and I was cold, there's a way of me keeping warm if there's nothing else in that area or that environment that I can utilize to generate a heat providing fire with. But for us, we're thinking about signaling and calling for help, and that's how we're doing it in the outback in a broken down vehicle in the middle of nowhere. Once you've got search aircraft hopping around your locality. Stay safe out there, dare to survive. Use your brain, use your common sense, and you'll come out and be able to tell the story.